If you have a public Discord server, either it's discoverable through Discord itself or you share the invite link, allow your members to send invites or that sort of thing, you've probably run into scammers and spammers within Discord. It's extremely frustrating and it's super annoying, but Discord is taking great measures to counteract that or cut down on the amount of scammers and spammers that can exist within your server. So we're gonna dive in and take a look at this brand new feature that I have just now discovered and it's extremely helpful, extremely usable, and I wanna share it with you guys so you can start taking care of those pesky scam and spam accounts within your own server. So here we are within our server called The Flock, and if you'd like to join, there's a link down in the description of this video. We'd love to have you in there, but this is a pretty large server. We've got over 15,000 members, and over the years as we've grown, we have run into more and more of these pesky scam and spam users, people that are not here for the right reasons, and they're, they're it's all just people trying to use your community to gain something, right? And so I want to show you over here to the left hand side, you can see we've got a fairly large server, but there's this brand new, these brand new tabs up here that Discord has added, and one of them is called members. Now, if you don't see it over here on the left hand side, you can right click on your server, go down to server settings, and then down to the very bottom where it says members, and you can get to this uh, same exact feature from there. And then when you're in this, there should be a way for you to, you know, basically turn it on to show up on the left hand side. But once it's over here, uh, you can access your entire server member list. And this is really, really cool because not only does it show everybody in your server, you can scroll down, you can see the total number of people you have in your server very, very quickly, uh, especially if you don't have a bot that shows the stats over here to the side. Um, but it also shows you all the details of each server. For instance, it'll show you like when they became a member of your server, how long they've been a part of Discord itself. It'll show you the join method, which all these ones that say hidden, are actually hidden because I'm in streamer mode right now, but otherwise it would show the exact invite links that they use to get over to your server. Um, or whether they came from server discovery, for instance, our server is discoverable in server discovery, so you can find us through there, and a lot of these people have. Um, but it basically just gives you all this information about these users, about your community. It shows you what roles they have. You can also add roles to people from here. Um, and then you can even look up people by their, their username or ID right up here. Uh, you can prune people out of your Discord server. So for instance, if there are people in that don't have a role and they haven't been active in Discord for either a week or a month, you can actually have them auto kicked out of the server and they can come back later if they want to. But one of the most usable features that they've added is this one right under under the uh, section called signals. And we're going to scroll down and you'll notice that, uh, for instance, there's a user right here that has joined our server two or actually joined 21 hours ago, but they've been a Discord user for two months. OK, but you go over here right next to their name and it says that they've sent excessive DMs to non friend server members in the last 24 hours. This is basically telling you this person is spam DMing people most likely they're a spammer or a scammer, right? If they've sent a bunch of messages to people they don't know in a 24 hour period, it's 99.9% .9 the case that they are spamming or scamming in some way. So you can simply come over here to the more options tab, click on this, it's gonna do a drop down, and then you can literally time out, kick, ban, uh, and basically just block, you can do whatever you want to that, that, that uh, user. And so you can go through here and, and go up to the signals tab and filter by unusual DM activity, timed out users, uh, unusual account activity, and people who are quarantined. Now what I do is I go through and I like to turn on the DM activity and the unusual account activity. Don't worry about the timed out or quarantine users as much um, because this is going to let you be proactive in getting rid of these accounts before they cause too much damage and of course if they've already spent you know time sending a bunch of dms to people then there will be spam dms sent out to people but instead of allowing them to exist in your server and waiting for somebody to report them you can literally go through here and click more options and then do what you need to do kick timeout ban that sort of thing now what's really also cool about this is that once you you know basically filter down uh to just these signals you can actually go in here scroll down to the bottom and you can see that we've got 32 people 32 people that line up with uh with you know one of these or or both of these notifications right both of these signals so if i want to i can literally just select all and then i can ban everybody all at one time 
uh, this way if I'd like to. So if you want to make sure that they can't join your server again, you can ban all of them all at one time. Now, this is a little risky because it is possible that maybe, uh, you know, Discord misflagged somebody that really does want to be a part of your community. So if you're not sure whether everybody is, uh, you know, a spammer or a scammer, one thing you can do is go through individually. And this is what I like to do. And you can either ban or kick uh, people from here. And so in this case, this person joined, um, they've already been involved in some suspicious activity. So we can kick them out of the server. Uh, you can give a reason, um, spamming DMs, right? You can give a reason, copy this reason if you want to, and then kick them out of the server. Now, uh, another thing you can do is you can do that. And then of course, if they wind up back in your server, if you monitor this on a regular basis, they wind up back in your server, go ahead and ban them. It just kind of depends on how you want to do this. But, um, most likely these people are scammers. Now, one thing I will say is that if you scroll down, uh, and you, let's say, let's go to the very end here. Uh, for instance, I know for a fact this person right here is uh, not a scammer or not a spammer. Their account may have been hacked, but they've been a part of our server for five years. They joined Discord five years ago. They've been apart for five years. This, this person at worst has had their account hacked, but I know them, so I know that I don't want to ban them. Um, so that may be one of those things where, again, you wouldn't want to ban everybody all at the same time. But everybody else, if I don't recognize them, kick them. And then if they come back in, they keep doing the same stuff, then you can go ahead and ban. Uh, but this is a great feature. I absolutely love this feature. And if you guys haven't been using this or don't know this exists, start checking on a regular basis and go through and just start kicking or banning people out of your server that uh, that obviously are you know involved in some type of spam activity. And it's going to cut down on how many people these spam accounts can affect. Now, of course, if you ban the account altogether, they won't be able to rejoin your server. Uh, if they create a new account, they may be able to, but you're going to start to keep an eye on this on a regular basis and you'll be able to stay kind of ahead of the game as much as possible. So keep an eye over here, you guys. Hopefully this has helped you in preventing a lot of spam and scam DM activity. Of course, if you still run into a lot of that sort of thing, I do recommend checking out my video that I'll go ahead and put a uh, little card at the top of this video for teaching you how to set up a report section. And over here, you can see we've got a report section. So if people run into spam, scam, or suspicious activity within our server, then they can come over here and submit a report and set up an entire system where we can go in and then deal with that on a per report type of basis. So uh, check out that video if you guys want to see how to set something like this up and make sure you keep an eye on your members tab and look for people that are doing suspicious activity because it will drastically cut down on the amount of effect these scammers can have. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys. If it has, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. And of course, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, all that kind of good stuff to help this video get out to more people and to see when videos like this go live. On top of that, you can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. I'm live streaming over there every week. So come on by, hang out with us, chat, ask questions if you want and uh, become a member of the community over on Twitch. You can also find me on all the social media accounts you see here. Links for everything down in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next one, as always, rock on, peace out, God bless. And last but not least, Oh gosh. My gosh, dude! No way! Nice win, nice win, nice win. No way, bro! <laughs>